Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm making a very simple recipe for some raisin flapjacks. Flapjacks in the UK are an oat based uh, bar or square which are nice and chewy if they're cooked properly. Um, very very tasty and uh, they're very simple to make because you simply combine the ingredients, put them in a pan, bake them take them out, cut them and that's all there is to it. So I start off by preheating my oven to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit, and I've lined an 8 by 12 inch pan with some um, parchment paper. That's to, to make it easier to take the flapjacks out once they've baked. Um, and so that's all the preparation that's needed uh, and we'll go on to the ingredients. And for this I have 500 grams which is five and a half cups of oats. Now um, in, I have made, I've used 100 grams of uh, old-fashioned rolled oats and 400 grams of porridge oats which are cut that little bit finer. The rolled oats just give that slightly uh, better texture to the eventual flapjack. So that's uh, five and a half cups of those oats, 500 grams. I have 250 grams of soft light brown sugar, which is one and a quarter cups. I have 250 grams of unsalted butter, which is uh, two sticks plus one and a half tablespoons. I have 100 grams, five tablespoons of golden syrup. If you haven't got golden syrup, you could use honey or you could use corn syrup or maple syrup, but golden syrup is the best. It gives the best flavor. I have three grams, half a teaspoon of salt. And then I have 150 grams, which is one cup of raisins. Now you could use sultanas, you could use currants, you could even use um, cherries or cranberries or something uh, if you wanted to, whatever you want. Um, if they're a larger fruit, just chop them into smaller pieces uh, and they will get, be mixed in to the flapjacks, giving a nice fruity flavor to go with the flapjack. So uh, the first thing to do is to combine the butter, the golden syrup, uh, the salt, and the sugar together and we'll melt that. So I'm going to put it into a fairly small saucepan. And then I'm going to simply put that onto the heat and melt it. And I don't think you need to watch me doing that simply because there's nothing to be done. I'll just give it the very occasional stir and once it's all melted it's just going to be combined with the oats and the raisins. So I'll put that onto the heat and start to melt that. And what I'll also do um, while that's beginning to melt is just to put my raisins into the oats and I'll just stir those around. And with the butter and the sugar, the salt and the golden syrup melted like that and the sugar is dissolved into the butter, I'm simply going to pour that onto the oats like that 
and then I'm going to stir everything together until it's combined and all the oats are coated in the caramelly mixture That looks quite nicely combined. So then I'm going to tip that into my prepared pan. And I'm going to spread it over the surface and try to get it as level as I can. And I've spread that out reasonably well and I've pressed it down so it's quite firm in the bottom of the pan. And then that needs to be put into the oven and I'm going to bake it for 25 to 35 minutes, probably about 30 minutes. And it should bake and the edges should begin to dry out just a little bit and at that point I'll take it out of the oven and I'll come back and uh, show you what I do next uh, before we allow it to cool down completely. So I baked the flapjacks for 30 minutes and uh, some of the raisins swelled up and uh, sort of rose above the, the top. So what I did was I simply took um, a cup and pressed them back down again and they should be fine like that. So what I've done is I've scored a little line about every two inches or so into uh, the flapjack and I'm going to just drag that line without going all the way down across the surface just to mark where, when they're cooled, I'm going to cut them. And then I'm going to do the same uh, in the other direction. And then I'm going to leave that until it's cooled down completely. And when it has cooled completely, I'll take it out of the tin and cut it into those bars, those individual pieces, um, and they, they will then be ready to serve. And I'll come back at that stage and we'll have a taste. I let the flapjacks cool down and I cut them into the bars. So this is what they look like now. I have some more in a container over here. 
So they've cut quite nicely and I'll just have a taste of one. They're slightly crispy on the top at the moment where they've baked but if they're stored in a tin they will actually soften a little bit because of the um, sugar and the golden syrup that's in them but they taste very very good it's um, the combination of the golden syrup the butter and the light brown sugar gives a lovely caramel flavor uh, to the oats and the, the, the flapjacks generally and then you get the, the little bit of the uh, raisin in as well adding an additional flavour and that different texture as well very very good and so easy to make it doesn't take very long at all actually so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.